Hey, how's it going, man? Good, how are you doing? Hey, good, good. All right. Thank you. you. Have a good one. Yep, you too. Thanks. I've got it. The limited time Pizza Hut Cheesy Bites Pizza. Speaking of bites, there's baby Big Bite. I'm going to find a spot. We're going to park it. And I'm going to check it out. House tour. Welcome back, everybody, to an all-new Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. I'm here. Well, I'm at my house because I just got pizza delivery from Pizza Hut. You guys, they just reintroduced their limited-time Cheesy Bites pizza. Now, this isn't a pizza that I've ever had before, so I was really excited to check it out. Now, they only bring this out about once a year, and it actually comes out even internationally. The limited-time Pizza Hut Cheesy Bites Pizza. Check out this crust if you've never seen this before. It's wild. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Take a look. Oh, looks like we caught it just in time. Like I said, I had this delivered to my house. So it just came out of the Pizza Hut oven a few minutes ago. Just enough time for me to grab my stage, my car, and show this off to you guys. Let me, let me make a little love here to the other camera. The crust obviously being the notable item here. This is what is filled with mozzarella cheese. You can just see it pouring, oozing out. This looks good. This is a large, this is a one topping. I chose pepperoni because I think we all can agree pepperoni is the best topping on a pizza. And it came with a side of this uh, marinara slash marijuana sauce, only available here in Denver, of course. No, this is just their pizza sauce and I guess you can dip these little cheesy bite pizza pieces into it. If you want to, let's go ahead and peel off a layer here. I want you guys to see, look at this burnt cheese going on on the back side. Good Lord, this looks good. Oh wow, it's surprisingly thin. <gasps> it's still a little warm. I know it looks kind of cold, but you can still see the cheese and that grease, the infamous Pizza Hut grease just glistening in the sun. Boy, that's a thing of beauty right there. Pfft. Look at that, the burnt cheese edges. That's my favorite part. Down in the comments below, do you like burnt cheese as well? <laughs> I know I do. God, if I could only just get like an entire box of just these little things, these little cheese bites. Look how, oh yeah, and they're like topped with this, oh, it's like a buttery garlic uh, topping. It smells like, mm-hmm, smells good. It looks like a breadstick filled with cheese. Enough talking. Let's go in on it here on a first bite, big bite of limited time Cheesy Bites Pizza from Pizza Hut. Let's do it. Cheers. Oh, the price on this, by the way, $12.99 plus tax. Cheers. Obviously, that was an enormous bite, but I wanted to be able to get the entire flavor with the crust, the pep, the cheese on top, and of course, one of these little dingleberries hanging off the end. These are the cheesy bite ends. Let's split that open so you can take a look. What they've done, mm. hang on. Mm-hmm. What they've done here to make this crust, interestingly enough, is they take these mozzarella sticks, just like you would buy at the store, like string cheese, and they actually put it into the crust, fold the crust over, and then cut little slits with a knife and just twist. So it's really interesting. It's not a hard pizza to make, but you can definitely tell it's been done by hand. And who doesn't like a little handiwork, a little hand job on their pizza, twisting the cheese and the dough? You know, I kind of like that too, right? It's not a manufactured crust. 
knowing that somebody sort of took the time to lay out the cheese and sort of twist this up into a beautiful looking pizza. It is an interesting looking pizza. Certainly is gonna be good for the kids. But you know, I just can't help but once again complain about the thinness of a Pizza Hut pizza and the oiliness of a Pizza Hut pizza. And part of that, I guess, is they're using, you know, a lot of the dough to sort of pull over those mozzarella sticks. So maybe that's why it's a little bit thinner with the Pizza Hut sauce game. You know, typically that's not something you would get on the side except for with breadsticks. So it's kind of fun to get a dipping sauce with a pizza for free. Especially if you don't want to really support the likes of like racist Papa John's who obviously gives out like a garlic sauce with every pizza. This would be a good alternative to sort of stick it to the man, stick it to John Schnatter himself for using the N-word. Shame on you, John. I think on a scale of one to 10 between the taste, the value, and the overall appeal of this meal for $12.99 plus tax. And of course, I had to pay like four bucks for delivery and always tip your pizza drivers. God, they're the hardest working, some of the hardest working people out there. Trust me, I know from experience. But I think on a scale of one to 10 here, this is a really fun pizza, right? $12.99, I have to keep that in mind. The taste of it wasn't super remarkable. I mean, the pizza itself is kind of thin, but it's a fun looking pizza. I would have to give this thing probably like a seven and a half. It still was just okay. And Pizza Hut really isn't my go-to pizza, but I have to applaud them for constantly coming out with new ideas, fun ideas. And especially if you got kids like your boy does, you know that the fun is what it's all about sometimes when it comes down to dinner time. I think I'm gonna go in on it here though on a last bite, big bite. As always, thanks again everybody for checking out another great review here on Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. You know you love it. You came back for some more of it. I'll be back for another fast food review. Let's do it. Big bite.